Hi everyone, welcome to my channel, Crochet for Baby. Thank you for watching and thank you for subscribing. Please don't forget to like this tutorial. I really do appreciate your support. Now in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to crochet this little vest for little girls between five and six years old. Now you can also make it smaller or bigger. Down here in the information box, I'm going to leave you some information on how you can make it smaller from zero to three months up to 10 years old. Now we can also turn this into a nice little jacket by adding sleeves. So comment below and let me know and I can do that for you all as well. Now recently many of you have asked me to crochet bigger sizes. So here's one more of my designs in a bigger size. So I hope you like it. Also remember that my channel is bilingual. Always, always my tutorials are in English and in Spanish. All you need to do is just click the little lamp down here next to my channel name and it'll take you to my main channel page. There you will see all of my tutorials in English and in Spanish. Okay, so I hope you like it and without further say, let's get started and thank you for watching. Okay, to begin, I'll be using this five millimeter crochet hook, and today I'm using this Erin weight yarn. It's called Style Craft Special Erin. This is in the color Pale Rose. Now, if you're in the US, you can use any number four yarn. Okay, so to begin, I have 58 chains. This chain here measures about 37 centimeters, which is about 14.5 inches. Now, if you want to make this smaller or bigger, the stitch multiple to the base chain is multiples of four plus two. Okay, so to begin on the third chain from the hook, one, two, three, I'm going to make a half double crochet. Half double crochet into the next chain and a half double crochet into each one of the chains here. This is all we're going to do for this first row. We're just going to make half double crochets. Okay, so continue like this for this first row and I'll meet you at the end. I'm here at the end of this first row. This is where we did half double crochets and I have a total of 56 half double crochets. Now for the second row, we're going to chain two and turn. These two chains never count as a stitch. Now in this row, what we're going to do is we're going to make three double crochets, one, two, three, and into the next four double crochets. So let me show you. Beginning on top of the first half double crochet, make a double crochet. That's one, two, three double crochets and into the next two double crochets, one and two. This is how you're going to continue for the second row. You're going to repeat the same thing. You're going to make three double crochets, one, two, three, and into the next two double crochets. At the end of this second row, we're going to have 69 double crochets. Continue and I'll meet you at the end. I'm here at the end of this second row. I have a total of 69 double crochets. Here at the end, we're going to finish with these last four double crochets. Now for the third row, we're going to chain two and turn. The two chains never count as a stitch. Now in this row, we're going to make four double crochets. One, two, three, four, and into the next two double crochets. Let me show you. Beginning on top of the first double crochet, make your first double crochet. That's one, two, three, four double crochets, and into the next two double crochets. One and two. This is how you're going to continue for this third row. You're going to repeat the same thing. You're going to make four double crochets, one, two, three, four, and into the next two double crochets. At the end of this third row, you should have 82 double crochets. I'll meet you at the end of this row. I'm here at the end of this third row. I have 82 double crochets. Now for the fourth row, we're going to chain two and turn. Remember the two chains never count as a stitch. Now in this fourth row, we're going to make five double crochets. One, two, three, four, five, and into the next two double crochets. Let me show you. Beginning on top of the first double crochet, make your first double crochet. That's one, two, three, four, five double crochets and into the next two double crochets. One and two. Now you're going to continue and repeat the same thing. You're going to make five double crochets, one, two, three, four, five, and into the next two double crochets. At the end of this fourth row, you're going to have 95 double crochets. Continue and I'll meet you at the end. 
I'm here at the end of this fourth row. I have a total of 95 double crochets. Now for the fifth row, we're going to chain two and turn. In this row, what we're going to do is we're going to make six double crochets. One, two, three, four, five, six, and into the next two double crochets. Let me show you. Beginning on top of the first double crochet, make your first double crochet. That's one, two, three, four, five, six double crochets and into the next two double crochets, one and two. This is how you're going to continue for this fifth row. You're going to repeat the same thing. You're going to make six double crochets, one, two, three, four, five, six, and into the next two double crochets. At the end of this fifth row, you're going to have 108 double crochets. I'll meet you at the end of this row. Okay, I'm here at the end of this fifth row. I have a total of 108 double crochets. Now for the sixth row, we're going to chain three and turn. Now what we're going to do in this row is we're going to do our pattern stitch from here on. The pattern that I'm going to use is called Crystal Waves Crochet Stitch. I'll leave a link to that uh, stitch down here in the information box. To begin, on top of the first double crochet, we're going to make two double crochets, one and two. Now skip one, two, and into the third double crochet, make a single crochet, chain three, and into this same stitch where you did the single crochet, make three double crochets, one, two, three. Now skip one, two, and into the third, make a single crochet, chain three, three double crochets into the same stitch you did the single crochet. And this is all we're going to do. Again, skip one, two, and into the third double crochet, make a single crochet, three chains, three double crochets into the same stitch. Skip one, two, and into the third single crochet, three chains, three double crochets. One, two, three. Skip one, two, and into the third single crochet, three chains, three double crochets into the same stitch you did the single crochet. And this is all we're going to do to the end of this row. So continue like this and let me show at the end of this row. I'm here at the end of this sixth row. I have a total of 36 of these fans. Now to finish, we're going to skip one double crochet and into the last double crochet here, we're going to make a single crochet. Now for the seventh row, chain three and turn. Now on top of this last single crochet that we did right here, make two double crochets, one and two. Now we have the first fan. Now in the original pattern, it calls for you to make a single crochet into the third double crochet like this, so a front post single crochet. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to change the stitch a little bit. So what I'm going to do instead is I'm going to go into the middle double crochet out of these three. So into the second double crochet, insert your hook like this and work a front post single crochet. Now chain three and into the chain three space right here, make three double crochets. One, two, three. Again, we have the next fan, and into the second double crochet, insert your hook like this and work a front post single crochet, chain three, and then inside the chain three space, make three double crochets. One, two, three. Now, another thing that you can do is instead of uh, making three chains here, if you want the stitch to be a bit closer, you can do two chains. Now, I think for the yoke, I'm going to do three chains, but for the rest, I think I'm only going to do two chains so that it's more closed. Um, it's not that open. So for the yoke, I'm going to continue like this. Now we have the next fan and into the second double crochet, work a front pull single crochet, three chains, and then Inside the three chain space, make three double crochets. Again, into the next fan, find the second double crochet, front post single crochet, three chains, and then inside the three chain space, 
make three double crochets. And this is all we're going to do for this seventh row. Okay, so continue like this and I'll meet you at the end of this row. Okay, I'm here at the end of this seventh row. Now to finish, we're going to go here in between the three chains and the first double crochet and make a single crochet. Now for the eighth row, chain three and turn. Now for this eighth row, we're going to do the same thing into the single crochet, make two double crochets, one and two. And then we have the first fan, find the second double crochet and make a front post single crochet, three chains, three double crochets inside the chain three space. And then the next fan, find the second double crochet and work a front post single crochet, three chains, and then three double crochets inside the chain three space. It's the same thing we did on the last row. Okay, continue like this for this eighth row and I'll meet you at the end. Okay, I'm here at the end of this eighth row. Now to finish, we're going to make a single crochet here at the end. Now we're going to make two more rows. So for row nine and 10, you're going to chain three and turn and then repeat the same thing. We're going to make two double crochets into this single crochet and then a front post single crochet into the second double crochet of the first fan, chain three and then three double crochets inside the chain three space. And then again, front post, single crochet into the second double crochet, three chains, and then three double crochets. This is all we're going to do for the next two rows. I think that's going to be about enough rows uh, for the size that I want this to be. So continue and I'll meet you at the end of the 10th row. Okay, I'm here at the end of the 10th row. Here at the end, I finished by making my last single crochet like we always do to finish each row. Now, what I'm going to do next is I'm going to make two more rows. So we're going to chain three and turn. Now, in this row, what I'm going to do is instead of making three chains, I'm going to only chain one. I want now the part of the yoke to start to reduce so that we can divide the sleeves. So now here into this first single crochet, you're going to make two double crochets and then here's where we're going to change these next two rows. Instead of making three chains, we're going to chain two. So find the second double crochet and work a front post single crochet, two chains, and then inside the chain three space, make three double crochets. That's the only difference. So instead of making three chains, you're going to chain two instead. Again, jump to the next fan and into the second double crochet, work a front post single crochet, two chains, and then three double crochets. This is all you're going to do for this 11th row. Then you're going to repeat the same thing for the 12th row. I'll meet you at the end of the 12th row. Okay, I'm here at the end of this 12th row. Now to finish, we're just going to go here into this uh, last double crochet and make a single crochet here at the end. Now this is how I finished the 12th row. Now I have a total of 36 fans and the yoke is done and this is what it looks like. Let me turn it around. Now in the next row, we're going to divide the sleeves, but first it's measuring from the top of the neckline down to the end of the last row that I just did. It's measuring about 15.5 centimeters, which is about six inches. If you're making this for a bigger size, then uh, perhaps you need to add more rows here to, for the yoke so that it's bigger. I'm going to leave it like this for the size that I'm making this for. Now. In the next row, row one, we're going to divide the sleeves. So what I have here is I have placed my stitch markers. Now for the front panels, I have five fans. We're going to skip eight fans for the sleeves on each side. And then for the back side, we're going to end up with 11 fans, but I have marked only 10, 10 fans. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. But we're going to end up with 11 because we're going to add an extra fan in the back. So here to begin, this is going to be the first row where we divide the sleeves. So here, what we're going to do is chain three, turn, now into this single crochet, you're going to make two double crochets and then a front post single crochet into the second double crochet, two chains, and then three double crochets. This part here is the same. We're just going to work these five fans. We have two so far. And then same thing into the next front post single crochet, two chains, 
three double crochets. Front post single crochet. Two chains, three double crochets. And then front post single crochet. Two chains, three double crochets. And then here we have the last band for the front panel. So into this second double crochet, make a front post single crochet. Now you should have five bands. One, two, three, four, five. Perfect. Now to divide the sleeve, you're going to chain six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Skip eight fans. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight fans. Now this is where we're going to increase one into this chain two space of this eighth fan right here i have a stitch marker you're going to make three double crochets one two three and now into the next fan this one here work a front post single crochet into the second double crochet two chains and then into the next chain two space work three double crochets now from here on it's the same thing we've been doing with this stitch. So this is the only difference. We're going to increase here into this chain two space. So now you're going to continue for the back side and work a total of 11 fans. We already have two, one, two, then you're going to do three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So I will meet you right here to show you how we're going to divide the other sleeve. Okay, I finished making these 11 fans for the back side. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Then I chained six. Now to divide the sleeve, we're going to skip eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And now into this chain two space of this eighth, we're going to make three double crochets. One, two, three. Now into this second double crochet, work a front post single crochet, two chains, and then three double crochets. Here we're just going to finish this row. So continue in the same way and I'll meet you at the end of this first row. Okay, I finished the first row here at the end. I just finished by making my single crochet. Now you should have a total of 21 fans. We have five fans for the front panels. One, two, three, four, five one two three four five and then for the back side we have 11 so that's 21 fans now in the next row row two we're going to increase here under the sleeve so to do the second row we're going to chain three and turn now on top of this single crochet make two double crochets and then front post single crochet into the second double crochet two chains and then three double crochets. Here we're going to work these five fans for this front panel. One, two, three, four, five. So I'll meet you right about here to show you how we're going to uh, make these increases. Okay, I finished making these five fans. One, two, three, four, five. Now we're going to work a front post single crochet into the second double crochet. Now chain two and here this is where we're going to increase two fans. So we're going to skip the first chain one and into the second chain, make three double crochets. Now skip one, two and into the third chain, make a single crochet. Now chain two, and now into this same chain where we did the single crochet, make three double crochets. One, two, three. Now we're going to go into this first group of three double crochets and into the second double crochet, work a front post single crochet, two chains, and then into this chain two space, three double crochets. And this is all we're going to do here under the sleeve. 
So we just added two extra fans and that's what it looks like. Now you're going to continue for the back side and work these fans and I'll meet you right about here to show you how we're going to do the same thing here under this other sleeve. Okay, finish making these fans for the back side. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten fans. Now into this last group of three double crochets, we're going to work a front pull single crochet, two chains, and now we have the chains. We're going to skip one and into the second chain, make three double crochets. One, two, three. Now skip one, two, and into the third chain, make a single crochet, two chains, and then three double crochets into this same chain. One, two, three. Now we have the first group here of three double crochets, so into the second double crochet, make a front pull single crochet, two chains, and then three double crochets into this chain two space. Now continue and finish this second row and I'll meet you here at the end. I'm here at the end of this second row to finish. We're just going to make our last single crochet here at the end. Now, if you count each one of these fans, you should have 23 for this second row. Now for the third row, chain three and turn. Here we're going to work these stitches or these fans up to about here. We're going to increase here in the middle. so. Remember, we always do two double crochets on top of this single crochet, and then front pull single crochet into the second double crochet, two chains, and then inside this chain two space, you make three double crochets. And then continue with the stitch. And I'll meet you right about here to show you how we're going to make that increase under the sleeve. Okay, I finished making these six fans. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now here, I have my three double crochets, so instead of making my front pull single crochet into this group of three double crochets, what I'm going to do instead is I'm going to go right here. There's a gap. This is the single crochet, so right in this space, I'm going to insert my hook and make a single crochet. This is where we're going to increase. Now, chain two, and into this same space, make three double crochets. One two, three, and here's our extra fan. Now into this second double crochet out of these three, work a front pull single crochet, two chains, and into this chain two space, make three double crochets. And there it is. That's what it looks like. Now we have the first group of three double crochets for the back side into the second double crochet, make a front pull single crochet, two chains, and then three double crochets into the chain two space. From here on, you're going to do the same thing. This is the back side. I'll meet you right about here to show you what we need to do next. Okay, I finished making these fans for the back side. I'm right here, right under the sleeve. I made my last three double crochets. So now into this second double crochet, make a front pull single crochet, two chains, and then into this chain two space work three double crochets. One, two, three. Now, right in the middle between these two fans right here, we have a single crochet and right to the side, insert your hook there and make a single crochet, two chains, and then right back into that same space, make three double crochets. And this is the increase one extra fan. Now work a front pull single crochet into the second double crochet, two chains, three double crochets into this chain two space, and then front pull single crochet, two chains, and then again three double crochets. Now from here on you're just going to finish this third row, so continue and I'll meet you at the end of this row. Okay, I finished this third row. I have a total of 25 fans. We increased uh, one extra fan here under each one of the sleeves. Now, to finish here, we always finish by making a single crochet at the end. Now, for the fourth row, you're going to chain three and turn on top of this single crochet, make two double crochets, 
and then front pull single crochet into the second double crochet two chains and then three double crochets into this chain two space now in this row we're not going to increase anything else we're just going to do the same thing front pull single crochet two chains and then three double crochets now continue like this finish this row and i will meet you here at the end to show you what we need to do next okay i'm here at the end of this fourth row to finish we're always going to go here between the chains and the double crochet and make a single crochet that's how you're going to finish each one of the rows to follow now from here on this row is what we're going to repeat like i said so chain three and turn for row five you're going to do the exact same thing you're going to work two double crochets into this single crochet then front pull single crochet into the second double crochet two chains and then three double crochets into this chain two space this is all we're going to do from here on you're either going to finish with 25 fans or 24 fans at the end of this row you will finish with 25 fans now I'm not exactly sure how many rows I'm going to do, but continue watching and I'll meet you at the end of that row. Okay, I think I have a total of 24 rows. This um, stitch here is kind of hard to count, so I'm going to try my best to tell you exactly where I am here. If I count the rows from under the sleeve, I have two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24. This row here is a fan row and i'm on the left side this is where we started here's my yarn so if that helps um, that's where i am so we're going to go here to the right side so we're going to make one more row here and um, the way that you can tell which is the right side is this side here you see that the half double crochets have this line so that's going to be the right side either or it's up to you whichever side you like uh, just choose a side now what we're going to do in this row oh and i forgot to tell you it's measuring from the top of the neckline down to the last row that i did it's measuring about 17 inches which is about 43 centimeters now if you want to make this part longer you can i'm just going to leave it like this i think it's perfect now what i'm going to do here is with this same hook and i was going to use white yarn because i want to do this last row in white so i'm going to cut my yarn I'm going to pass this yarn through this last loop like this. Now I'm going to grab this off-white uh, cream color yarn. This is not the same brand, but it's a medium number four yarn that I have. So you can use um, any light color yarn if you want to do this part in another color, or you can just do it in the same. So I'm going to insert my hook here into this last single crochet that I did grab this loop and bring it through the front and we're going to chain one now we're going to make three single crochets here we have three double crochets so make three single crochets now here we have a chain two space in that space make a single crochet three chains and then single crochet again and then we have this single crochet in the center make a single crochet and then three single crochets again one two three and then inside the chain two space make a single crochet three chains and then single crochet again and then between here and the chain two space you're going to make four single crochets one two three four one two three four inside this chain two space make a single crochet three chains single crochet again and then again work your four single crochets one two three four one two three four single crochet inside the chain two space three chains single crochet and then again four single crochets one two three four one two three four inside the chain two space single crochet three chains single crochet and so on 
this is what we're going to do for this last row and as you can see that's what it looks like so continue and i'll meet you at the end of this row okay i finished this row now i cut my yarn here at the end and pass my yarn through this last loop now what i'm going to do here is with this same color the pink color we're going to insert our hook here on top of this last single crochet and make a chain we're going to make single crochets along the side here so chain one and right into this the side here make a single crochet again and then a single crochet into this double crochet and then right in between we have that single crochet so make a single crochet there as well single crochet and then single crochet so you're going to make one single crochet here into the double crochet space and one single crochet into the single crochet space all the way to the top so continue and i'll meet you right about here to show you how we're going to work this part i think it's going to be the same we're just going to make one single crochet but uh, i'll just meet you here to let you know exactly how many stitches i have for this side Okay, I finished making these single crochets and I have 33 single crochets from this first one that we did to this last one that I have done. Now we have the first row here for the yoke and these are two chains. So in that space, I'm going to make one single crochet, then one single crochet into the next one and one. Let's see how this looks. I think I'm going to do two instead. Let's see. So into this chain two space, now we're going to make one. Into the double crochet, we're going to make two, then one, and then two. I think that's better. And then into this half double crochet row, make one, and into the chain row, make one. So let's count and see how many we have. So up to here, we had 33. That's 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41 single crochets now for this front panel. Now you're going to do the same thing for the other side, so remember. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to work our way down. So chain one, turn, and work one single crochet on each one of these single crochets that we just did, like this. So continue, and I'll meet you here at this other end. Okay, I finished making these single crochets. I'm here at the bottom. Now we're going to do the same thing for two more rows. So chain one and turn and then work single crochets in the same way. We're going to have 41 single crochets for this side. Now I'm going to add buttons here on this side. So I'm not going to make any buttonholes because what I'm going to do here is I'm going to use these nine millimeter uh, pearl buttons. And as you can see, they fit right here perfect so i'm not going to add buttonholes you can put as many buttons as you want i think i'm only going to do i don't know maybe three just like i normally do like right about here uh, if you want to add more you can again i'm not going to add buttonholes because i'm going to be using these nine millimeter buttons and they fit perfect through these single crochet um, holes so i'm just going to finish this third row once I'm up here, I'm going to chain one and then work my way down for the fourth row. So I'll meet you at the end of the fourth row. Okay, I'm here at the top of the neckline. This is the third row. I'm not going to make that fourth row like I said I would. What I'm going to do instead is I'm going to go around the neckline here first. We're going to work that last row once this other side is done. So here what we're going to do is I have my last single crochet. So into this same space here, make one more single crochet. And then we're going to work one single crochet here for each one of these stitches. Now, these single crochets, I'm going to make them in between each one of these half double crochets, like this. So continue around the neckline and I'll meet you at the other side. Okay, I finished making these single crochets around the neckline. Now here into this last stitch here, I'm going to make two single crochets, one and two. Now. We're going to work our way down in the same way we did on the other side. We had 41 single crochets, so we're going to try to have 41 single crochets here for this side as well. So into this row of half double crochets, make one, and then this row here has two chains, so make one, and then we have a double crochet, make two, and then again two chains, make one, and then two. Let's see how it looks. 
Yes, I think that looks pretty good. Now here we have the double crochets or the single crochets. So here you're going to work one single crochet for each row. I think here I'm going to add one because the distance between this first double crochet and this one here is a bit far, so it might shrink a little here. So here you're just going to continue and work one single crochet. Make sure you count your stitches before you begin the second row. Make sure you have 41. If you're off by one or two, it's okay. Just uh, continue once you're here at the end, you're going to chain one and work your way up. And then once you're up here for the third row, you're going to chain one and work your way down and then finish that third row and then chain one, turn and then finish up here with the fourth row. I'll meet you at the end of the fourth row. Okay, I'm here at the top of the neckline. This is the fourth row. Now, what we're going to do here is work single crochets around the neckline again. So into this last single crochet that I did, I'm going to make one more so that I have two here. Now work one single crochet into the next row, single crochet into the next, and now you're just going to work single crochets around the neckline. So continue around the neckline. Once you come here to this other end, you're going to make two single crochets here and then work your way down. I'll meet you at the end of this other side to show you what we need to do next. Okay, I'm here at the end of this fourth row around this side now. Here at the end, I made my last single crochet, cut my yarn, pass my yarn through this last loop. So this part here is done. Now with this color white, I'm going to go around here and then work a, a little border here around the side. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go into this last single crochet uh, that I did right there, right before I cut my yarn, insert your hook there, bring a loop through the front and chain three. Here I'm going to make this little peak so that it looks nice here and then just insert your hook back into the same space here and make a single crochet. There. Now chain two, skip this space and into this next one make a actually a slip stitch. Chain two and then into this first single crochet make a slip stitch. Now chain two again and into the next single crochet another slip stitch. Chain two and then slip stitch again. And this is all I'm going to do. Chain two, slip stitch, chain two, slip stitch, chain two, slip stitch, chain two, slip stitch. And that's all I'm going to do and that's what it looks like. So you're going to work your way up. Once you come here around the neckline, you're going to do the same thing and then you're going to work your way down. I'll meet you at the end here on this other side to show you what we need to do next. Okay, I finished this row here at the end. All I did was just make a single crochet, three chain single crochet so that it looks like this here, like we did here at the beginning. And then I just joined to the first stitch with a slip stitch and this is what it looks like. I like the way that this turned out. I went ahead and added my buttons. I went ahead and added, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six buttons. Now, many of you ask, how do I attach my buttons? Um, I don't sew my buttons in. What I do is I tie them. So using the same yarn, I just tie my, my buttons and then I just hide these ends um, in the back. And that's all I do. I think they're um, more secured uh, than sewing and sewing is, is, I don't like to sew. So that works for me. Now, as it is, the vest is done. That's what it looks like. Now, on this side, I went ahead and did the same thing I did here at the bottom. So if you want to do the same, this is what it looks like. I think it looks nice. So I'm going to show you how to do it on this side. You're going to do it in the exact same way. So we're going to go here under the sleeve and right here. Another thing you can do with this is you can turn this into a nice little uh, jacket. So if you want me to do that, I can do that. Let me know. Comment below and um, I'll see what I can do. So here we're going to go right under the sleeve right in the center and you're going to grab a loop in this white color, bring it through the front, chain one, and into this same space make a single crochet. Now you're going to go around this part here and work single crochet. So let's see that's one, go in between these three double crochets and make another one that's two and that's three and then we have this double crochet so make four single crochets then chain 
three, and then another single crochet. So here's our first little peak. And then we're going to work these three single crochets for this three double crochets. So that's one, two, three, and then we have the front post single crochet, make another single crochet there. And then here we have the two chains, so make a single crochet, three chains, and then single crochet again. And then we have the three double crochets again, so work three single crochets. One, two, three, and then we have the single crochet, four, and then inside the chain one space again, single crochet, three chains, single crochet. And that's all we're going to do here around. And it's exactly how we did this part here at the bottom from here on. So you're going to continue around. And then here you're going to do, right about here, you're going to do your last peak right here. So I'll meet you right about here to show you the finished vest. Okay, I finished here. All I did was just join to the beginning with a slip stitch, cut my yarn and pass my yarn through this last loop. And this part here is done. Now you're going to do the exact same thing we did here. You're going to do it here on this other side is exactly in the same way. And our little vest is done. This is what it looks like. I love, love this stitch. I like the way that this turned out. Now you can easily make this into a nice little cardigan or a nice little sweater with sleeves. If you want me to do that, please comment here below and I'll see what I can do. You. Now let me give you the finished measurements. From the top of the neckline here to the end of this last row, it's measuring about 18 inches, which is about 46 centimeters. Now this part here, from the middle of the neckline across to, to the end here, it's measuring about 20 centimeters, which is about 8 inches. And the waist or this part here, the chest area. It's measuring about 36 centimeters, which is about 14 inches, just the top, not around. So based on these measurements, this vest here is for little girls between five and six years old. Now you can also make it smaller or bigger. It's just a matter of changing your hook size. Uh, look down here in the information box on how you can uh, make it smaller or bigger. I'd say from zero to three months up to 10 years old. So be sure to check that out. Okay, so our vest is done, and here it is. I love the way that it turned out. I really, really love this stitch. This is the Crystal Waves Crochet Stitch. Very popular stitch in my channel. I'll leave the link to that tutorial also down here in the information box. So don't forget to comment and let me know if you want me to turn this into a nice little cardigan uh, for little girls. Uh, so I'll be looking out for that. Okay, so this has been today's tutorial. I hope you like it. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time.